November 10th, 2019 uh, will be a date that goes down in history uh, for Magni X, for the aviation industry, uh, and I think for the world. Uh, it's the day that the first commercial aircraft flew all electric. Take one. Ch -ch I think, uh, you know, you, you take a step back and you look at what had to be done. We had to create a high torque motor, merging the best of high performance technology with the requirements and challenges of an aerospace environment in a time frame that people keep consistently saying couldn't be done. And how we overcame that was by not running an individual race, but by building a culture that says, all right, people say things might can't be done. We're going to challenge that in order to produce something remarkable. All the team here, it's midnight. Guys, first day of electric flight is the next step in allowing aviation to go all carbon neutral. Oh, it's, it's amazing. It's Always ready, <laughs> especially with this aircraft. If, if something is worth having or seeing happen, then it's worth working for. I'm at the uh, Harbour Air Facility uh, in Vancouver, Canada, uh, looking at uh, our aircraft. This is the Electric Beaver, and we're going to be doing a few uh, tests today as we get ready for our first flight next week. You know, every day we seem to just have these big problems that we had to overcome. And there were some hard days. Oh, it's failed this test. And, and you just think like, how is this, how is this gonna come together? But that's when you sort of fall back on the team that you have with you. It's one thing to be able to solve technical solutions and you've got a lot of smart people in the same room, but it's another thing to get through it as such a bonded team to still have that by the end of, by the end of what we've been through, so. <laughs> We're on the dock and the plane's about to be pushed into the water. I don't know if you noticed when that plane taxied out and took off, there were no fumes, no exhaust, no smell, zero emissions. December 10th, 2019 will be remembered as the day the electric aviation age started. That team made history. <laughs> Uh, this doesn't happen much in a lifetime where you can actually look back and say we were part of something that truly changed the world uh, and it did uh, and it will. Hello, welcome to MagniX, coming in. Glad you could join us today. Um, my name is Patricia, I'm a business support manager at MagniX. And my name is Bryce Aberg and I'm a power electronics engineer. We hope you enjoy the short clip that you just watched of the eBeaver uh, test flight uh, with the Magni 500 electric propulsion system. Uh, we were both there and for me it was one of the high points of my engineering career. It was truly amazing. So today we would like to take you on a short tour of our facility so you can see for yourself when all the magic of Magni 500 is happening and meet the people behind it. So. Hi, Judy and Miguel. Can we interrupt you for a second? Sure. Can you uh, introduce yourself and tell us a little about what you do at MagniX? Yes. Hello, I'm Judy and I'm part of the motor design team. As you can see behind us, we have the 9500 motor. From the early on, we really focused on getting high power density product. This means that from every structural detail towards to the selection of the magnets, we really focused on getting high power at a low weight, which is ideal for product that will be flying on an aircraft. Also, as you know, electric motors require a lot of spinning to get, to get a certain power. And that usually means that on aircraft, you require a gearbox to get the right RPM for a certain propeller. However, the Magni 500 motor is designed as a direct drive system, meaning that we can produce high power, high torque at a low RPM uh, while not having the added weight of a gearbox or the complexity of the design. 
Furthermore, we have four sets of three phases, meaning that if we have a failure in one set, we still have 75% of the power. And this redundancy adds to the reliability of the product and allows for graceful degradation, which you do not see in traditional combustion engines. And I'm Miguel Marmol. I head the aircraft integration team. So I was the leader for the team that actually took the Magni 500 power plant and installed it on the Beaver for the flight we did last year, and then a separate one on the Caravan for the flight we did this year. And as Judy mentioned, the my Magni 500 spins at 1900 RPM, and at that speed it produces 750 horsepower, which is comparable to many turboprops power plants that are already out there that are powering thousands of airplanes. And so that's kind of our first goal is to take this electric power plant and be able to uh, retrofit it on aircraft that are currently flying to reduce their carbon emission. And then also this enables new clean sheet designs that take advantage of the electric technology to go even farther carrying more passengers with zero emissions. So part of taking this wonderful motor and turning it into an aircraft power plant involved integrating things that aircraft power plant required to operate such as a propeller governor for example. So a big challenge was how do we drive the pump in the governor, how do we send oil to the propeller, and how do we control it from the flight deck. And then that allowed us to use a constant speed propeller which as you know increases the efficiency of the operating points of the motor greatly. Another thing we had to do was tailor the inverter control laws to make it feel and, and operate a lot like it would on a traditional aircraft power plant, but still take advantage of some of the unique things we can do with an electric motor, such as, for example, during taxi, you don't have to have the motor idling. You can either stop it or spin it very slowly to use little power and make a little noise. And for me, as a test pilot and a test engineer, taking this motor and figuring out how, what do I take from the old technology so that the pilot flying it feels familiar like they're flying something new and then still take advantage of the new things and optimize it to work as well as it can was a wonderful experience for me. And I can tell you the first time that during a ground run that I took the E-Beaver with the Magni 500 to full power was a great feeling and everything going on. And on the aircraft side, a big thing we had to do was also integrate the battery into the airplane to, to the EPU and then a display so that the pilot could see everything that was happening. And at the end of the thing, other than a flying airplane, now we have all this learning and this technology that we can then put on other aircraft as a retrofit and then also on clean sheet aircraft. So that's actually a wonderful experience to have through and why this thing is a great breakthrough. Great. Thanks, Miguel. Sure. One of the important points of the EPU is the integrated cooling system. JP, you designed the system. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Hey, sure. So, the cooling system was a clean sheet design because, of course, there is no uh, cooling system on the market uh, to run with a 500 kilowatt class motor. So, that was absolutely amazing to work on uh, a clean sheet design. The Magni 500 and the, the Magni Drive are so efficient that the cooling system was less complex than a traditional jet engine or piston engine. And that means less part, less, uh, more integrated, and of course, more reliability. Thanks, guys. Okay, let's move on with our tour. This is one of our conference rooms. We name all of our rooms after electrical units, as you can see over here. Um, and each of our rooms carries an inspirational theme. For example, this Edison wall is supposed to remind us that there's always a better way to do things, and you just have to find it. And in the back left, you can see our Magni 5 prototype motor at 350 kilowatts. That design proved to us that we can move on to the 500 kilowatts of the Magni 500 EPU. And here is a very interesting graphic. Um, it always amazes me that 5% of all airline flights um, are less than 100 miles, and 45% of all airline flights is actually less than 500 miles. And the Magni 500 is the enabling technology for middle mile uh, electric propulsion. For the 5% of flights, that means a, an existing aircraft can be converted to electric, or for the 500 mile routes, uh, a clean sheet design can be used. Let's, Let's move on going. to the left. Here's actually one of our Magni 500 ready for shipment. And this is where I work. This is our power electronics lab. Guys, say hi. Oh, hey. Uh, Jason. Yes. Can you tell me a little bit about what you're working on? Yeah, we're working on Magni Drive. Uh, this is uh, for Magni 500 system. There's uh, uh, 170 kilowatt per each unit. We have four of them to drive a Magni 500 motor. 
and uh, uh, with the redundancy very make the system very uh, high reliability and also we share the cooling system with the motor make the whole system very compact. Yeah. Thank you, son. So one of the important parts of the Magni Drive and the Magni 500 is the software. Akshay, can you tell us how we test that software? Hi, yeah. We set the software using the hardware in the loop simulator. We simulate the Magni 500 motor model and the inverter model with very high pre uh, precision using real-time simulation in the hardware and loop simulation. And that's how we test the software in the hardware. Thanks, guys. Let's keep going. So one of the important test uh, activities that we do is actually putting our equipment on a test stand like the one you see here. And this is important because it shows, it proves to us that the hardware will work in a real environment. Let's go see our office upstairs. So it's important that we remember our history as a company, um, starting as a small research firm in Australia to the flight testing that we're doing now. And this is another example of an inspirational wall to remind us how important the teamwork is and that we have to overcome the obstacles in order to achieve the impossible. Let's go see the office. Hello, Yara. Hey. Hello. How are you today? Good. I was just telling George, our newest hire, how we integrated the Magni 500 into the Deidre. It's such an exciting moment, you know, taking part of history making. our open office environment. Uh, we created it so everybody sits together to have the open communication and collaboration. And it's this collaboration that lets us design this high performance Magni 500 system. Let's go downstairs. Okay. We're pretty much wrapping up our tour now. We've talked about the Magni 500 motor, the cooling system, the inverter. We've shown you where we work. Yeah. We were able to talk to people behind the Magni 500 design. Hey guys, what are you guys doing? These are guests that we mentioned about. We're just wrapping up our tour. Do you have any uh, last words for them? Yeah, cool. Well, if you have a minute, why don't we uh, grab a seat? So it sounds like uh, you guys saw our technology, the Magni 500, the propulsion system, the inverters that go with it, the Magni Drive, the cooling system. I got to see a little bit about where uh, these amazing employees of Magni X work. Uh, I just want to stress what this is doing for the industry and globally. This isn't just about technology. I mean, that's nice. We've done some phenomenal things here uh, between the architecture of the propulsion system, uh, the actual integration of to an aircraft. But when I think about what this is for, and when I think about the passion that goes behind it, it's really about what we are enabling with electric transportation and electric aviation specifically. If you think about uh, the cost of flying today, fuel costs, emissions that are created. You know, they talk about two to four percent of CO2 worldwide. Uh, they talk about the fact that there's 10,000 airports in the US, only a, only a small handful are actually used by airlines. If I think about what electric aviation and what this team is doing today, and what will that enable, is really the reduction of costs by 40 to 80 percent per flight hour, and zero emissions. Imagine what that does for the future of transportation, the democratization of being able to fly on demand, uh, that's really the things that drive us uh, forward and propel what we're doing. So thanks a lot for coming to visit. I hope you uh, come see us again.